Hello everybody, this is Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches. We're going on our trip to AC Moore. This is our first stop. This is my local store. Um, I have not done this before, so bear with me. I don't know how well this is gonna work. Um, this is my local store, so I'm gonna take you on, I'm gonna show you the yarn department, and then we're gonna move down to Richmond and we're gonna hit up four or five locations. All right guys, I'm gonna try not to make you too sick, but we're going up the back aisle, hopefully to avoid filming too many people um, we have a pretty small store here the yarn aisle is that way and this way two eighty eight four sweet rolls and then part of this aisle and the clearance will be randomly mixed in with some of the other yarn. I always check the clearance first. I got Red Heart Super Saver for $2.50. I have some of that I'm not interested. Um, $5, two for 12. What I'm really interested in, spinning, sorry guys, is the bags over here. They will have cotton in here and they have um, these are the multi-packs I've showed you guys. So they have several skeins. And these are on sale two for 15, but sometimes they go on sale for five dollars. And they're actually I'm noticing they're getting more uh universal yarns in here, which is exciting to me. What is this? Super wool, super stretchy. That's interesting. We'll think about that. Universal Classic Shades. That's Sparkle Yarn. Oh, I'm definitely getting this. Let's see. Color Delighted. 69% Acrylic. 29% Wool. 2% Glitter. Oh, that's coming home with me. That's pretty. More Glitter. More Glitter Universal. All right, we got two. Let me do a once over. I'm debating on that one. I'm not a huge fan of wool, but... Uh-oh, I see something else I might be interested in. Colicity. Nope. I don't want that designer yarn. Polaris. This bag is stuck around my wrist and I only have one hand to get it off. I'm going to just put my purchases right there. Polaris. Ooh. Interesting. Ooh, that's pretty. That is pretty Rosetti. I like the Rosetti. Lumen. All right, guys, I got three. Oh, they have Karen Simply Soft over here. Four for 10. I have this one. Cotton, more Polaris. Glitter. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be hard for me. Another Polaris, I already have that one. Felicity. Nope. Denims. Oh, look at that. This is all new. This is all new. That's really heavy. Is this cotton? Acid wash. Cotton wool. Oh, that's my favorite cotton. Oh my goodness. Okay, classic worsted. All right. Oh, look at that. All right, guys, I'm gonna go make my purchases and we'll meet you up again at Richmond. Hey guys, we are at AC Moore in Richmond. This is our first stop. 
Uh, I have not been to this one yet, so I don't know what to expect. Um, let's go take a look at the yarn. All right, so this is their yarn section. They have hanks of yarn, three for 10. Those have been $9.99 for a long time, but they've been clearing out for a while. They can't seem to get rid of them. Um, they have mini skeins for a dollar. This yarn section is drastically bigger than my local store. They have the bin that I will be digging through and Karen. I don't know why they put the Karen in a big bin like that. That's like a new thing. So we have big fluffy yarn. There is a giant wall of yarn. They have way, way more yarn than my local AC Moore. They have the cozy yarn. Stitch Studio Giant 2 for 12. The macarons are $5. 2 for 12 on the parfait, but those are cheaper on Premier's website. Alright, we're gonna go through and see if we can find any clearance. Alright, I had to turn the video off because I don't want to randomly record people. Clearance is not real great here. Let's see. Mail ends. Seems like they have all the bags like that hanging up. And this is all Isaac Mizrahi and I am not interested in that. I might not be buying anything from this store. Lots of yellow, but I have lots of yellow. This is all the mixed fiber. Right, I'm gonna say this store is a bust. And I have this. Alright. So I totally forgot that they are having a sale on Premier Home Cotton 10 for 10. I don't need any because I just bought some of the batik in the bag at the last store, but yeah. And the cones are $9.99 and today they're doing like a 40% off, so I could technically get one of those for 40% off, which is a good deal, but yeah. We're just going to give you a little bit of uh, close-up of some of the yarn in the store that they have way way there's a whole bunch of empty things down there and a little bit of clearance but nothing that i want sale items we have some nice colors but i really like that red and yellow super saver right here but i don't want to pay 359 all right, guys, we're going to head to the next location. All right, so I did make a purchase at this AC Moore. I got this little zipper bag. How cute is that? And then this little wall hanging thing. No drama llama. That's me, baby. Isn't that cute? These were a dollar each. So that was my purchase from this AC Moore. All right, guys, on to the next. All right, guys, we are at our third AC Moore location. This is our second Richmond location, and as you can tell, all AC Moors are different. There's one that we're going to show you that's drastically different. Um, all right, let's go inside. So I had to have my daughter point out which direction because I can't remember where the yarn was in this one. I have been to this location before, though. All right. Two for 15. That's the random bags and look at they have these ones over here but it looks like it is all the same of course it's the one i couldn't find that i came to richmond for to begin with hundreds and hundreds of the same one except that one i'm not interested these are all the same these are the 
36 mini skeins that I have. Alright. So we got yarn. And I got some good clearance at this one last time. But I don't remember if it was stacked in together. I apologize if I'm moving too fast. Or if it was its own. They have a lot of empty shelves at this one too. That is strange. Alright. So. I really like that puzzle yarn. It's not on sale this week though. Alright. Oh, I found the clearance. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. Right, Juju, can you hold this camera? Just like that. I'm gonna have her shoot while I uh while I dig. We have Mystic Waves, three dollars. Woolies, four fifty. Mystic Waves, three dollars. That's really pretty. I don't know if I want that though. I have more than one. This is in the color Samba. Ugh. We may have a lot. Three, so there's six, nine. I don't know. I might get that. I might. Shetland Chunky. Seven dollars, no. Six dollars, no. These are all the same. Three dollars. Three dollars. What do you think? Yay or nay? Garden. Myrtle. Okay, those are different. I don't know. Garden. I don't know. Myrtle. They have garden, they don't have another myrtle. Firebird. These look all so similar. I don't know how they have different names. Garden. That one is tore up from the floor up. Myrtle. Oh, there's another myrtle. I like the myrtle. I think I might get two of these. Alright, here. Take this. I'll take that. Okay. Let's see. What else we got? I have that at home. That's really pretty. Two fifteen. Yeah, I don't think that's in the right spot. Nope. All right, the Fair Isle is two fifteen, but I have. Some of that, and as you can see, this goes right up to the ceiling here, too. All right, so yeah, and these sweet dreams were five dollars last month, and they are $9.99 now. I bought one of all three this color, and the gray, and the peach. I think there's one of the colors I don't have, I think I have six of those. I have no idea what to do with them. They're super bulky. I just don't know what to do. And plus it's so warm out. So. Burnett. Stitch Studio. That loop yarn that nobody knows what to do with or wants to do with it. Right. So I think I'm going to get. I think I'm going to get these two skeins of yarn. And I'm going to call it a day for this location. So. 
All right, guys, we will meet you at the next location. All right, guys, we are at probably my favorite AC Moore location because they have several storefronts. That's the main section of the store, and they have the frame shop, and then they have the art supply store. It's three separate storefronts, but they're all connected by a uh, passageway, doorway, whatever. Now, this kind, this AC Moore is old, so it kind of reminds me of like an old Woolworth. I just, I really like this one, and I found some really, really good clearance here last time. So, we'll see what happens. All right, we'll see you inside. All right, so we have yarn starting here. Go all the way down. Try not to get the workers in here. Four for ten. Two eighty-eight. I love this dreamy. It's so pretty. I have this one at home. I haven't used it yet. I got this and this at the thrift store. All right. Buttons, 50 cents. Don't worry, we need buttons, but. All right. Oh, you see anything good in there? Looks like much of the same. This stuff is pretty. It feels so gross. They made a really nice shawl, but actually, no. I made a tree skirt that I frogged. That's really rough. Right I am. Thank yeah. you. This is pretty. Don't like it enough to buy it. Alright. Clearance. I made a blanket out of that. It was really hard to work with, but it turned out beautiful. And it's been on clearance forever. Alright. Let's see. We're moving on. Clearance. Looks like it's all Lion Brand. I'm Bernat. Five dollars. Five dollars. That is gross looking. This is pretty. Three fifty. I see sparkles. $2.99. Yeah, I don't like that enough. Let's see. 10 for 10 on the cotton. Touch of alpaca. Shell on a ball is 2 for 12. Alright, we'll move it on. Yeah, I think this one's a bust, guys. I'm not seeing nothing. All right. All right, guys. It's uh about 2, 2.30. We've been on the road since about 11.30. We have two more ACs to go to. And uh, we might have to stop and get some lunch. Because I have the kids and my husband with me. And they're getting a little bit cranky. Um, this AC more was a bust. I didn't buy anything. But... We have two more locations to go to and then uh, we'll wrap it up. So we may or may not stop for lunch in between, but. All right, guys, this is, I don't even know what stop this is. This is our AC Moore. Um, this is what I would like to call the bougie district. This area just seems very bougie. Um, this AC Moore has a beautiful inside of the store. It has a great yarn department. I'll show you all that when we get in. 
One thing about walking in AC more, look at that mannequin heads. You will notice the second you walk in, it is really fragranced. It is like Hobby Lobby when it comes to that. They fragrance the whole front of the store. All right. Again, we got very high, almost to the ceiling. It's like 12 feet high of yarn. And then we have yarn down here. This is a very long aisle. And then here. They need to light this aisle. I didn't realize how dark it was down here. Okay, now. I don't remember how they do the clearance at this store. So. They have way more Premier Yarn uh, cotton here than at any of the other locations. They have more colors to choose from. I want a cone, but... I might buy a white cone, then I can dye it, right? I can use my 40% off coupon. Hmm, let's see. Seven hundred yards. I might do that. What do you guys think? I think we should. They also have the big sugars and cream, but that's a dollar more. I don't know if you guys know, but you can also take the speckled yarns like this and dye over them. I don't know if you knew that. Even this 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 one right here, you can dye over that and you'll get lighter and darker variations of the dye if you do that. Yeah. Something to think about. Like, I don't know what would happen with the speckles. I don't know if those would shine through some of the dye. I assume it would. But you can check out Kim Knits and she tells you all about that. Okay. Oh, this is pretty. I don't think I've seen this yarn before. That is pretty. $2.99. Really pretty. Ooh, look at that one. I like that one. That's pretty. I might have to. We'll come back to that and I'll decide. They definitely have yarn that my local store does not have. More color variations. White. A whole bunch of white. And a dollar for the mini skeins. This is if you want to try like a new yarn. Little sample size, make a small, small little project. Merino ZZ Twist. Alright. More yarn. I have not seen any clearance yet. I'm not seeing any clearance. None at all. See, our local store doesn't have the Sweet Puff either. Not that I've seen anyone. They definitely don't have this. They barely have any ice cream. I love the ice cream. I'm waiting for it to go off sale at Michael's and buy the big scoop with a 60% off coupon from AC Moore. Let's see. But I'm going to have to cut because there's a worker over here. Alright, so the bin with all the, the multi-packs is filled with toys because there's a worker over there who is um, restocking and he stocked all his toys on top of it. And I'm not digging through because I don't see anything. I'm debating on whether I want this yarn or not. It's so pretty. Let's see, pink gray marl. My question is, do I want to buy that and use a coupon, or do I want to use 
get the big cotton and use a coupon. I think we're gonna go with the cotton. Oh, that's cute. My niece would love that. If I can rip it. See, in my local AC Moore store, does not have these. They're supposed to, and like they just don't have them. Put that in my purse. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so I think we're gonna buy the cotton, use the coupon, and we're gonna head out and go to our last, our last store. All right, guys, this is our last AC Moore location. After this, we're gonna go grab some dinner. We're gonna get some Red Robin. If I see the pink and gray yarn here from the last store, I'm going to buy it because I already regret not buying it. All right, let's go. All right, so here we are. I already see clearance stickers. 281 empty all the way up. Fun fur. These are random. Eversoft. Why are these here? I don't see a clearance sticker. Burnett Big Stripes, three thirty-three. It's not a bad price. Well, if I'm gonna buy that, I might as well go buy some uh, cakes. For two eighty-eight on sale. This is pretty. And of course, doesn't have a clearance sticker on it. I don't know why that Eversoft is right here. More clearance stickers, all empty. Clearance. Oh. This is pretty. I don't really need any more chunky though. This here. This one's not all tore up like the one I bought. Samba. Patents. 350 more clearance parfait five dollars what it's four dollars on their website right now in case you didn't know that already oh I think I mentioned that Oh look, I got some of that at the thrift store. $5.99. And that is 765 yards. $5.99. It's normally $10. But it has gone on sale for five dollars, so Let's see. See they had clearance in this one last time, but 
DK Colors 288. I did not see. I did not see the. We'll have to find the aisle. The yarn with the pink and gray. I'm gonna pause here because I think there's people around the corner. All right, guys. I don't see anything here. Um, I still have money to spend, so I might make a stop at Michael's after we have lunch slash dinner. And if I do, I might bring you. All right. All right, guys. We're changing it up. We're at Michael's. This is going to be our last stop for the day because I'm tired. It's 5:30. We've been going since 11:30. So let's go. All right. So. I'm not seeing the yarn I came here for at all. They had those really big endless impeccables and unless they're down here, I don't know what happened to them. This might be a bust. Yeah. <sighs> Let's check another aisle. Yeah, definitely not down here. I'm gonna sign off. All right, so I found what I was looking for. The endless impeccable. I got it in three colors. All right. I think that's it. I will uh, do a recap when I get home. I just wanted to uh, thank my husband. Hang on. I wanted to thank my husband for bringing me along on this crazy trip because he drove us all and it was a long day but he never complains and he never thinks I'm crazy so I will do a recap when we get home all right guys we are back at home it has been a long day but it was fun well some of us thought it was fun some of us didn't um, receipts on the floor I can't guarantee this phone won't fall over. It's my husband's phone. He let me borrow it because my phone is crap. And his phone does not have um, a pop socket on it to hold it up. So it's on my tripod balanced on books. Yeah, it's ghetto. Ghetto fabulous. Okay, so I'm going to go completely out of order because I don't even remember how many stores we visited at this point. Like it's it's like 630 it's been a long day. We left the house at like 11.30. So I'm hot. I lost a skein of yarn. I got all flustered just to find out it was in a bag the whole time. Yeah, so, all right, let's see. This is at the AC Moore Henrico location. That is a suburb of Richmond. And I bought my son nerds cause he wanted them and I bought the cotton. Now I had a coupon for 40% off. So this cone of cotton, I know it's like super blown out, was $5.99. Yeah, that was $5.99 with my coupon. And then we'll skip my local one because I bought the most there. We'll come to that one last. Um, AC Moore short pump location. Again, Shore Pump is another suburb of Richmond. I bought, oh, uh, what is this? A dollar or two dollars. Bought my kids something. That's not the right receipt. <laughs> they bought um, the little squishy things. 
they're toys that are rubber that have little balls in them. They were clearance out for a dollar, so they both got one. Okay, this is mine. We bought, we saw the Stitch Studio by Nicole Mystic Waves. Yeah, his phone is so much better than mine. Look at the colors. I know you couldn't tell in the store, but these were $3 each. And we got the mangled one, but I'm going to reball this. But, ooh, pretty. And this is Stitch Studio and by Nicole. It's 70% acrylic, 30% wool, medium four. Let's see if we need it. Focus. Focus. Apparently his phone doesn't focus like mine. Okay, well anyway. And then I bought him a marble game. He got marbles at the thrift store yesterday. They were $2. And all morning long, he said, Mom, I wish I had a marble run. And AC Moore had a marble run for $5. So I bought him that. He's playing with it right now. All right. And then we'll go to Michael's. Michael's, I could not find what I was looking for. They had these a couple weeks ago. They just released the new colors. And I have the white and the gray, not the white and the gray, the gray and the pink that they clearanced out uh, a couple weeks ago. And then they released the new colors. And I wanted the new colors. I'm not paying $20 for this fall. And then last week they went on sale for $15. Well, I knew if I waited... I could get them back to full price and I'd have a coupon. Well, lucky for me, Michaels gave me a 50% off coupon and a 40% off coupon for today. And my husband had a 50% off coupon. So we got yellow and this is the Endless Impeccable. Endless Impeccable. This is 1,790 yards. It's a medium four yellow okay and this one was 50% off so it was ten dollars and then we got this lovely I'm gonna call this robin egg blue it says it's aqua but it I don't know Maybe you can see the colors it's coming up pretty true and this is the same as the endless impeccable just put the yellow one down and this impeccable. And I love that these are still bagged because I can just throw them wherever and store them and not worry about it. And again, 1,790 yards. Got that. And then that one was uh, 40% off. So that one was $12. And then of course we got another one that was 50% off. I got the purple. Oh, my hair is on my nerves. My hair is needs to be pulled up. Okay, so this says that one ball will make a blanket, but it'll probably make like a a lap gown or something small. And I have a king size bed. So what I want to do, if I can hold them all, is put them together and make like a a spring blanket. So aren't those pretty? Yay! Spring colors. Okay. So. Now we're going to move on to my AC more. If I can find the receipt, which I just had. Did you see what I did with it? Cause I don't remember where I put it down at. Nope. Aha. Okay, my local, my local AC more. All right, these are all, these designer bags are regular price. Well, that's twenty four dollars. They're nineteen. They're nineteen dollars. They're always nineteen ninety nine, but they're also almost always on sale. And sometimes you can get them for five dollars if you're lucky, but most of the time they're two for fifteen. Now, what's great is I got a coupon this morning at six a.m. from AC Moore for an extra twenty percent off all of your purchase. So each one of these cost me six thirty seven. And I will take that. So, this is the designer yarn. These are all, I believe they are all universal yarn. Which I have just discovered and I really like universal yarn. So I'm going to crack this open and show you. This has one, two, this has six hanks in it. Six hanks. 
This is cotton. This is called linen gold. It's 97% cotton, 3% polyester. It is 197 yards, 3.5 ounces. Can you see the sequence? Can you see it? Oh, it's so pretty. So for 6.37, I got six skeins of cotton with sparkles. This is gonna be such a pretty shawl. What do you think? You think it's my color? Okay, I get so excited about these mystery bags. What's crazy is I went in to my store. I had a limited amount of money that I've been putting away for such an occasion. And I spent $60, well, $53.66. And right off the bat, I panicked. I was like, I gotta be so careful. And that's what you saw me being careful at some of the stores because I did not wanna go crazy and like blow all my money and be broke. So, I thought after I went to my AC more and they had all the universal yarn, I was like, okay, if they have universal yarn like this at all the locations, I am in big trouble. Big trouble, because I was so excited. They didn't have universal at any of the AC mores except mine. And my AC more is usually the worst. They usually have the worst yarn. So this was a huge, huge surprise to me. Now this bag has two, four, six, eight, ten. It says ten. 10 cakes, balls, whatever you want to call these. And this is the Fibra Natura Denims. You see? I don't know if this is going to be backwards because I don't know the settings on his phone. This is 70% cotton, 30% wool. It is a bulky five. This is really pretty. Of course, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's it's kind of cool. It reminds me of, I don't, that doesn't look like a five at all to me. It doesn't feel like, maybe because it's flat. It's like ribbon yarn. Let me show you. See, but it's like flat and then it rolls up to feel like a four. It's really thin. And this is in the color Acid Wash. Because who doesn't like acid wash denims, right? Hey, I'm a chick of the 80s and 90s. Um, this is made exclusively for Universal Yarn. Okay, where's the yardage? Durr. Yeah. 109 yards. 3.5 ounces. Denim. That'll make sense. I like that all these are like cotton based because summer is coming and it's hot in the south. It's hot in the south. Correct. Another one. This one is Universal Yard Alama. I actually saw this, I think, on Premier website. Premier's website. It may have been Universal Yarn's website because I was. I was creeping on their website too, but I definitely saw this. It was clearanced out. It is, look at those colors. Look at that. Oh, how many hanks? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. And this is, let's see, medium four, 58% viscose, 42% polyester. It's 159 yards and a 3.5 ounce ball. And this again is like the ribbon yarn. But I think that would just make such a pretty like infinity scarf or a cowl for the summertime. It is really, look, I mean, look at those colors. I love color. I love color. Okay. On to the next one. Are you excited? Okay, when I see sparkle in these bags, I freak out because, sorry. Ugh. You don't get sparkle in these bags very often. Look at, look at how pretty. How is her hair on it already? I just pulled it out of the bag. All right, pretty, pretty. Okay, this is in the color Zenith. This is Classic Shades Metallic. It is Universal Yarns. 69% acrylic, 29% wool, 2% glitter. It is 
175 yards, 3.5 ounce. Sparkle! And there is one, two, three, four, five, six balls. So it's like a dollar, just over a dollar per ball, per skein, per hank for these. I'm gonna save that one. I got two of these because the cotton, this is the Universal Yarn Cotton Supreme Splash. Now, if this is like the Cotton Supreme Boutique that I already have, this stuff is so soft. And I should probably open it before I say that because this is Splash and not Boutique, but okay, we got two of those. Two, three, four, five, six. Those have six. Sometimes they have seven. That's why I'm counting every bag. Sometimes they have seven, sometimes they have ten. Oh yeah. That feels so soft. I love that. This, if you ever have a chance to get this, Universal Yarns Cotton Supreme Splash Boutique, it is, it does not feel anything like home spot or home premier homes. It's been a long day, I'm tired. It does not feel like premier home yarn. It does not feel like the Lily Sugar, whatever that stuff is. It, this is like its own cotton. And this is called Plum Blanket. And I actually have a bluish color of this and a green. And I have a orangey color of this. This is, I love this. I love this. This is 100% cotton. It's a medium four, 180 yards. Bucket. You know, there's a funny story about this purple, okay? When I was younger, I mean, I'm a big girl. I've always been a big girl. I was in high school and I had this beautiful outfit that I borrowed from my cousin. And she was a big girl too. It was totally 90s style. It was like a silky satiny pantsuit that was a vest and it was pants that matched. And it was gorgeous. It was gorgeous and I loved it. I wore it to school. I wore it to my very first Garth Brooks concert. And one day I wore it to school and I got called Barney. And I gave it back to her and I stopped wearing purple. And purple was my favorite color for a long time. That kind of broke me a little bit. They called me Barney for a while after that. The past year or so, I have reclaimed purple, baby. I have reclaimed it. I'm all about the purple. You can call me whatever you want. I'm going to wear purple. And I'm going to look good in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so this is Ros Rosetti Polaris. This is got the sequins in it. This is 65% Draylon. Draylon. It also says polyacryly acrylic and 30% wool. So Draylon polyacryly acrylic, whatever that is, and wool. You can see it's probably backwards, but look at, look at, look at, look at, sparkles, sparkles. I love it. Okay, so this is a 50 gram ball, 191 yards. And the bag has, I'm gonna say 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 1, 12, 4, 10. 10. Ah. My husband's gonna have to take me out because I'm gonna make something pretty and sparkly with that. And I think that's it. Oh, there's one more down here. I gotta double check. Make sure. Alright, that's the last one. This one's glittery too. Oh, sorry. My hair's crazy. This one, Universal Classic Shades Metallic. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. And this is 69% acrylic, 29% wool, 2% glitter. This is in the color Delighted. And baby, I am delighted. I am delighted. Spin it, spin it. 175 yards, 3.5 ounces, medium floor. You want to see it again? You want to see it again? Oh, glittery, glittery. 
I guess this is going to be my color of the day because it kind of goes with this yarn I bought. The messy yarn. Look, ooh, it goes. Kind of goes with the other glittery one I bought. Got that color in there. Gonna be, I know it's winter colors, but hey, winter's going to come around again. So, all right. I actually had enough money saved up to go buy my family all their own little pint of ice cream because it's been a long day and they all behaved well for the most part until they got hungry. And that's saying a lot for a four-year-old and a 13-year-old and a husband. Uh, yeah, so um, I did good. I wasn't as excited and ex as exuberant as I was with the, uh, the thrift store haul, but the thrift store caught me off guard. I was not expecting that at all. So I don't know. And I think I was expecting a little more from my haul today, but my local AC more really, really paid off. And I cannot wait to make some stuff. And I will absolutely show you guys everything that I have made. So thank you for joining me on this crazy adventure. It's been a good day for the most part. I really enjoyed this. Click subscribe. Um, click the like button. If you want to leave me a comment, I love comments. Um, tell me which yarn you think is your favorite or tell me what you would make with these yarns. And if I hit 100 subscribers soon, some of these yarns might be coming to you. But you got to watch my videos all the way to the end because I'm not announcing a giveaway. So thank you guys. See you later.